All right, guys, today I'm going to teach you guys how to play Riffin top lane into the most broken top laner right now, uh, which is a Trindemir top lane. Now, in case you guys have been a little bit unaware, Trindemir top lane has been absolutely overpowered with little tempo changes. Kind of ridiculous. It's going to dash you. Oh, yep. Oh, okay, I can kill him right now. It's gonna go for the CS right here. And we take this one. I actually want him to flash. So, for this matchup right now, I definitely recommend you guys to go for the Conqueror page and definitely take Transcendence here with Gathering Storm. Because um, this matchup heavily relies on Ability Haze. The more Ability Haze you get in this matchup, the more easy this matchup basically gets. Um, we're also going to be maxing my E or, um, after maxing Q this game, um, just so I can dash out of Trinimir a lot more freely. Getting ganked here. That's pretty sad. Shaco is level 3, ganking at 2 minutes and 30. What? This guy has level 3 at 2 minutes and 30. That's insane. Okay. All backward. This is a lucky man for real. The fact that he got a, the fact that he gets a Shaco gank like two minute thirty with a level three is just insane. Okay, let's prevent him from getting the cannon here. I'm gonna take the push again. I want to make sure that we destroy him before he gets the backboard off. I need to get the pressure off on Trindomir, and the reason why is because if he gets the portion to me, um, he's going to be able to reset. Uh, um, if this guy gets a free push onto me, he's going to be able to push out the wave and then reset, so... I can't afford that to happen. My spirit is not lost. I'll stack the wave. We're going to be diving Trindomir on our tower. I'm going to ping Rengar for making this call happen. Mm. Oh, he's going to tank too much. Oh, that was a pretty bad one. Wait a second. Oh, he's got a double buff right now, so my trick doesn't work anymore. But perhaps if we... Uh I think that Shaco is coming topside. I don't think we can do this for too long. I don't see Shaco on the map at all, so the chances are very likely we're probably getting ganked at some point now. We have to be very careful with every move because Shaco could be here. Okay, I got you. Or not yet. Shaco is still missing on the map. I still don't see him. Yeah, I can't risk it anymore. That that This is really unfortunate. It really sucks to see Trinomir having a double buff at the moment. Because the double buff is saving Trinomir from, from dying at the moment. Because of the, the healing he receives right now. This Trinomir is really lucky. The Shaco gank from before saved him about three times in a row. And now he gets a double buff from Rengar, and he once again gets to live out the laney phase because he gets uh, the double buff right now. It's pretty sad. This Trinomir got extremely lucky with everything so far in the game from anything outside of our laning phase. Alright, let's walk our way back. <clears throat> We're going to be stacking the wave up. He should be losing the double buff now as soon as he comes back, so... It's okay. Um, he does have a kill advantage. Unnecessary strike. He's going to go for the CS over here. 
So every single time that Trinimir is going to go for a CS, you want to be going for a trade. Okay, it's got the level 6 now. Unbelievable, he's got the level 6 before I did because of everything that happened. That's insane. <laughs> it's gonna E me again soon. Kinda impressed he's not pressing his E right here. Okay. Once again, he's back to full life because he's using his Q every single time. We just focus on short trades again. It's all about short trading this matchup. Oh. That's so cheap. Ghost. We gotta get this ultimate down, most importantly. Okay, that's the ultimate. And he's dead. Finally, you're going down. You have so many... This, this Trinimir had so many advantages in laney phase because of Rengar and Shaco. But he finally goes down. It's about time that he does, man. He even used Ghost on me and that failed. He had the double buff. It failed. But yeah, this is pretty much like how you face off a Trinimir. You constantly rely on short trading the Trinimir. Uh, that's pretty much what this matchup is about. And the moment he all ends you, you want to have your shield ready at all times. And that's also the reason why we are currently uh, going to be maxing shield now. So usually I tend to like max my Q first as always. That's pretty much core. Um, secondly, like I always max my W in pretty much every single matchup. And lastly, I max my E. But if you're facing off champions like Trinimir, for example, or champions like Olaf, you know, champions that require a lot of mobility, um, that's where I tend to like max my E. And Trinimir is a perfect example for this, you know. Also, quick questions. What are you drinking right now? Yeah, I'm just drinking water, man. <laughs> I'm just drinking water. <laughs> Go for a trade. That back out again. So once again, remember what I said, guys. It's all about short trading Trinomir. You simply drop your Q down. Your stun, your auto, and you back out with shield. All the time. I'm just doing this to make sure that I don't face Shaco right away. Okay, we're getting ganked again. Bump. Good lane interaction. This Trinimir is getting so many ganks, man. Like, for real. This guy has so many. Incredible. Okay. And we go back to short trading. It's gonna go for the... Okay, apparently he's not going for the CS. Shaco could be topside again, so I got that deep in my mind. We got Rengar top lane, although... That's not going to help too much. He's going for the Herald at the moment. And there we go. And we go back to short trading. Also, I want to mention this real quick. If you want to have like an a lot easier time into Trinomir, what you can actually do is go for Lucidity Boost like we are right now. So we're getting a gank by uh, Rengar. 
eyes. I don't I certainly don't mind it. Good. Not bad, for real. Getting multiple plates here. He's got a lucky crit off. Unbelievable. No more hesitation. And we go back. Like, we can't really stay for another plate because we don't have ultimate anymore. And Chernomir does actually have ghost now, so... We're going to have to skip on that one, but let's go for this. Or before we do, we go for damage. Usually, I recommend you guys to go for Kindle Gem if you're playing a Strindemir. But in this case, I want to have more damage so that I can rely on the short trades uh, doing like a little bit more for us. Thank you. We're going to chase this one down. Oof. We hit him, but not enough. That's the one. Oh, that's the fake one. Oh, I actually thought I had the real one. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, I need my team to prevent this Trinomir right now. I hope they're gonna fix that for me. I would greatly appreciate it if they could stop the plates. Oh, I missed a cannon. I mean, you're not watching, you know... If you're watching DaviX3, you know I'm gonna miss all the cannons. This is how I work. <laughs> Okay, cool. He's dead. Awesome. I'm going to ping my team to, to get the tower away. That's very crucial. Just going to push things out. I don't really care about Cassidy, to be honest. He can get the farm if he likes. Shaco is down here. Just like always. Okay, good luck. And we go down here. We're going to be farming down the jungle camps now, so we can create, like, more of a lead. What conflict awaits? The jungler is currently top set, so it's definitely okay for us to be taking the farm here. Don't worry. We just got to create, like, some type of lead now. That's going to push into the tower again. So we're going to go down to the rep buff now. Got to make sure we get this one too. Oh, I want to hold it, but uh, never mind. We go back to mid. Uh, actually, it's getting covered by Echo right now, so he can take that one. I'm going to go back to base and... And get my core drinker now. And we go for Black Lever. I'm gonna sell that one. Also get the red trinket. So now we're going back topside, and you can already get the kind of picture. We already have way too much ability haste for Trinomir, so pretty much all we have to do is all in with the red buff we have, and we. We will kill him anyway. Like, he's he's not going to win this. For sure. I'm not even going to chase that down. I'm just going to go for the farm. He should be somewhere here now. Yep, that's where he is. Last one. I just use that because why not? I don't think it's gonna go for the wave. 
Because I could kill him if he did. Now he's losing the whole wave, so that gives me another advantage. And we go for this camp now. So once again, we deny Chunomir of another wave. And we're going to be farming mid now. Oh. Alright, cool. I got it. <laughs> oh, never mind. Uh, the lineup was still not good enough. You gotta get the right. Uh, you gotta get the right line to jump over. But that's more of a lazy version of jumping than than actually a good one. Because there's a very effective way to jump over without failing. Uh, without much failure, at least. I can show you actually. He's gonna steal it. Oh. That's one. You do no damage. Hit for Shaco. Look. This one's gonna jump over. You see? You gotta get the right. Uh, you gotta get the right like line up for it. Let's go back to upside. Shredmere will show up right here. With the ultimate. Another wave. Shaco is going to be here right now. So I got to hurry up a bit. Choose your own path. Nice, we got this one. Okay, rep off is spawning in about less than a minute. Uh, their Twitch can show up here any second. The most wasted flash ever. I knew he was going to press R. <laughs> My mind was like telling me like, bro, you got to do it. I'm kind of like maxing my W and E like, like a mix of it because... There's no need to. Like, I don't have to max my E this one because we're all. Are you serious? Oh, okay, Twitch is here. Never mind. Yeah, Twitch is down there. I can't really do it. Go back. Okay, we've got Black Lever now. Let's go for. Where is it? Let's go for death stuns. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> oh, he's actually alive. Okay, cool. Never mind. <laughs> he's not alive. I'll take this one. Trindomir is pushing top again. We currently have about a uh, 60 CS difference on this guy. Or actually 70, D, uh, 70 CS difference. But most importantly, we have like a 2 level difference. Jaco is here, but he doesn't do anything on us. <laughs> For real. That's a Twitch on our back here. <laughs> I 
everyone's so scared, man. This Cassidy, like, he's just jumping and that's it. Like, he doesn't do anything. He just stands there. I don't think that this Cassidy realizes, like, how useless he's doing. He's, he is right now. Choose your own path. Oh my Gorchinker! If I could land my Gorchink into like four man, imagine how much I could have healed. But I got Burster pretty hard there actually, and I don't know what happened. Ah, uh, so apparently it was uh it was Yeah, I was getting bursted down from the cast at an ultimate. He did like five hundred damage or something. So funny, like the first, the first like ten ultimates from Cassidy, he did like no damage, and then like the next ultimate, he did like five hundred damage, but just one tap of a button. Got you. Good luck. Uh, Twitch is... Remember that Twitch is super fed, so... We gotta get the next drakes now. We, uh, we gotta make sure we get every single drake because my team is kind of behind. Does actually work. Hey, yep. Got him. Let's put you on here. <laughs> that Shaco is by far the most annoying. Cassidy doesn't really do anything because he just stands there and he just dashes on you and he does like some type of damage and that's it. But Shaco is like actively... You kill him and like the clone is gonna CC you, the trap CCs you, he slows you, he's being just super annoying. Uh, Let's go for Stax Gage now. Like, I could go for Guardian's Angel, and it's not that bad, but I think if I go for Sterex Gage, I can tank more of their damage. And that help me, it helps me out a lot more. We need this one. I hope we don't lose the Drake here. Because the third one really matters. If we get this one, and we get the fourth one, uh, it's going to be harder for these guys to win. Ooh, nice. Okay. Which is dead? Yeah, you're going there, bro. I can see you. Huh. Ah, I flashed into the trap, so I couldn't reach out to him. Apparently there's a whole fight. It's a clone. I, in my opinion, like, this Twitch, even though he does have like 18 kills right now, in my opinion, 
no one of the enemy team is carrying the game except Shaco. Like, it's just purely Shaco uh, that, that makes things happen. Like, Shaco is so annoying with the CC right now. This guy is basically covering every single person in the... Th He's just dropping the traps down, like, specifically where you're gonna be. Did he get CC'd for years? If Twitch or Cassidy didn't have this, then it would be a free kill for me every single time. For real. Frank is going in. Probably a Twitch here. Ah, oh, that gave an ultimate. Wasn't really useful. Again, like the positioning from Twitch is just super awful. Doesn't help him at all. Gotta stop this uh, Trinimir from pushing top now. My spirit is not lost. Okay, it seems like he's gonna go back. Perfect, we get this one. Let's go back top lane once again. Through the mirror's ball lane this time. But uh, yeah, let's go back. I need my team to group up though. Let's go spam, spam uh, the Baron for this one. Stopwatch. There we go. Okay, so this time it's uh, gonna be pretty straightforward. So. There's one more thing to do now. And that is going bottling, having my team go in Baron, and the game will play itself out. You will see. Wow. Okay, my team needs to go Baron. Oh, casting kill someone again. There's Drake coming in for uh, 40 seconds as well. Hmm. Which is top side? The shake was useless. If as long as I don't engage in him, he's useless. It's not working. Oh, my Gore Drinker was up. He just got up again, so if I pressed it on the right time, I could have actually killed all of them because I had stopwatch too. That's incredibly unfortunate. I tried, like, waiting until I have my Gore Drinker and then use my stopwatch after I kill Shaco. But it was just a matter of, like, a tiny few seconds. And that would have made the difference. All I had to do is just hit Shaco with like one auto and then Gorchin could then stopwatch and everything would have turned around in an instant. <laughs> Didn't go out the way how I wanted to, unfortunately. That sucks. 
killing Shaco was crucial there because if I press stopwatch and he uh, and he drops the, the box down, then I'm basically dead automatically. We need the team to group up. I need the team to just push mid lane now and then just rotate. Okay, push down here, sure. Okay, I need my team to go, to go top side. We're going to see if we can force down the top tower. I wish I had flash up right now. It would have made a huge difference. But it's like two minutes still. Which coming down? Got him. And we win a team fight. Uh, Twitch is still up and Cassidy is dead. Okay, cool. We get another end hit now. And we get this one. Wait, this guy's going all in? Wait, you just have to like be patient. Okay, let's go. It's only Shaco. It doesn't matter what he does. Ooh, that's apparently that's the real one who was chasing down the Caitlyn. That's Cassidy incoming. Hmm, this is gonna be tricky. Oh, wow, I actually get to live. <laughs> Unbelievable. Hey, see you later. Either way, guys, this is Riffin Toppling. Yes, Trin. Thank you so much for watching today's YouTube video. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.